to you. So in today's upper body focus circuit, we're going to be targeting the arms, biceps and triceps, the shoulders, the back, and the chest. This is a great workout to do. You can do it at home. Uh, you can either use some dumbbells if you have them. And for those of you who don't have dumbbells and think that this workout isn't for you, uh, think again, because there are actually some great home pieces laying around that you probably didn't even think of that you could use for weights. For example, with the holiday time coming, maybe you have some nice bottles of wine lying around your house. I mean, look at how easily I can do bicep curls with my wine bottles. I mean, perfect. It's already full of liquid. Why not get some benefit out of these? Uh, in addition to the other benefits, of course. Um, you could also fill up a couple of your uh, protein bottle or shaker cups with some liquid and use those for your bicep curls or for any of the other moves that we want to add a little resistance to. Um, you can also grab uh, two or four uh, cans of um, pumpkin squash or what else? I've got sweet potato puree, organic pumpkin, because I'm going to be baking some pies. And just by holding two together, I've actually made a nice um, weight for myself. So you have lots of options for uh, doing some of these resistance style upper body workout moves today with me. So grab something from your house and let's get started. For our first move, I want you to come down onto your mat and come into a nice, strong, tall plank position. We're gonna do a three-way push-up. It's absolutely amazing for targeting different parts of our chest. Now, I wanna make sure that your core is engaged here, no sagging or arching back. Hands are stacked just below the shoulders for this first one. And um, if you want to, you can drop to your knees. That's a great variation. You can do this entire three-way push-up from your knees. Just make sure, again, that your back is not arching and sagging, that your belly button is hugging in and up. So let me show you the three-way push-up. Basically, we're gonna come down into a regular push-up, elbows flare out slightly. Then we're gonna walk our hands out to a wide push-up. Push-up again. Then you're gonna walk your hands back in. You're gonna float back to down dog and you're gonna do a pike push-up. Now the pike push-up is phenomenal for the shoulders. It might be a little weird if you're doing this from your knees, but you can still target the shoulders in that position. You may wanna jump up onto your feet uh, to do the down dog push-up um, for just that move. If you are doing kneeling for the other two, that's absolutely fine. So that would look like this. Push-up, wide push-up. Bring the hands in together, jump up onto the feet, press it back pike push-up. Okay, so you have a few options. We're going to do eight to ten total going through all three of those push-ups, okay, and that would be one uh, complete one set. Next move is tricep dips, so make sure that you grab um, a box or you could use the edge of your staircase for this one, um, and I'll show you a variation where you don't need the box or use the side of your couch, which would work great. So I'm just gonna bend my knees to 90 degrees. I'm gonna open my chest here, nice. Um, I'm gonna collapse at my shoulders. I'm gonna make sure I have a little core engagement. And then I'm gonna drop it down and press it up. One thing that I'm really being mindful of here, aside from keeping my chest open, is I'm really making sure that my elbows come back parallel to each other so they're not flaring out, okay? Just like this. Boom. Now you could also do this with your legs extended if you feel really strong here and this, the bent knee was too easy for you. That's much more challenging. Um, and you can also do this with uh, one of your weighted objects by simply holding it overhead and keeping the elbows in parallel and dropping it over your head in uh, tricep extensions from a standing position. You could do this with two objects, you could do it with one, um, but in any case, remember the same rule applies. We wanna keep our elbows in and parallel to one another. So you can see from the front that my elbows aren't flaring out, they're actually staying in nice and tight. And I'm showing you two different grips for your um, weighted object. You can either hold it like this, or you could hold it like this, depending on what the object is, right? So that's how to do the tricep dips or tricep extensions. Um, our next move, we're gonna need two weighted objects, and we're gonna do a reverse fly. This is amazing for the mid-back, okay? So you're gonna come to a standing position, feet slightly wider than hip distance. We're gonna hinge forward at the hip, belly button stays engaged, okay? 
um, coming to just about a 45 degree angle. We're gonna put a slight engagement between our shoulder blades. We're gonna turn our objects out slightly so that our pinky, when we lift up, is gonna be pointing towards the ceiling. Just looks just like that, okay? Pinky's turning up slightly towards the ceiling each time we come up. And what this is doing is really working that mid-back, mid-trap region, getting a little bit of the middle deltoid as well. Totally awesome move that will really strengthen you and support you from your back, right? Just like this, I'll show you from the front, bending forward. And this is a great way to warm up, is just practicing and learning these moves with me, okay? And getting your form down. Super awesome. All right, so remember, every time you set down weights or weighted objects, make sure you bend at the knees so that you don't hurt your back. You don't want to round forward with a bunch of weight that you're holding on to. All right, next move is bicep curls. I was kind of showing you how to do those with the weighted objects, the home weighted objects that I was showing you earlier. But a bicep curl, very simple and straightforward, okay? We're gonna stand, and we're not gonna allow our shoulders to be rounded forward. We're gonna put a slight engagement between them so that we're in a nice upright position and we can really isolate the bicep properly because the bicep tendon actually has to pass through the shoulder joint. And if it's constantly in this rounded forward position, you can really irritate it when you're doing all certain motions. So let's engage the shoulder back and down. You're not like trying to force it open, right? But there is a slight engagement and that comes right between the shoulder blades. That's what holds the shoulders back together. That's another reason why we really want to strengthen those back muscles, okay? So to do the bicep curl, now that we've got all that out of the way, we're just simply going to turn our palm up towards our shoulder. And I like to alternate. Um, I like to go one and then two. You can also do them together. If you happen to have a straight bar or barbell, it's another awesome variation to do a barbell bicep curls just like this, straight up and down. It's also awesome. But for today, we're gonna be alternating. Okay. Another great variation of the bicep curl that you can add in as a superset at some point if you like is called a hammer curl. It, it's uh, where your palms stay facing in towards each other. Today we're going to be working on just the regular bicep curl, but feel free to try the hammer curl at some point for a variation. It just works the bicep in a slightly different way. It's an awesome move. Um, next move we're going to do is the back extension. Now this is one of my favorite moves that I never leave out of a core or back strengthening workout because it really targets those paraspinal muscles that help support our core and our back as well. Um, really important for our postural stability. So make sure you're doing back strengthening moves like this on a regular basis. So we're gonna straighten out, and it's basically like a Superman, maybe you've heard of that already. Um, we're gonna extend our arms out and we're gonna lift our legs and our arms at the same time. Coming up, lowering down. I like to add a slight pause at the top and in today's workout, I'm gonna have you do a variation where you also draw your elbows in towards your rib cage each time you come up, just like this. So we're getting a little bonus work for our mid traps and rhomboids as well as that lower back, okay? You can do, you can isolate this movement. You can go just the upper body part. If you feel a little unstable, you can also just work the leg lift, which is great. A great variation for leg lifts, if you really like uh, strengthening that part of the body, is to lay yourself over an ottoman or Swiss ball and just work the leg lift. That's a, this is a great way to really build up that strength in the top of the glutes and the uh, lower back muscles, okay? So you've got a few variations today. I'm gonna be doing the first variation I showed you on the floor, the Superman lift with the trap activated. So I'm just gonna make sure that my box is stable for my tricep dips. And then I have one final move for you. And I think I'll demonstrate these with, oh, let's use the wine bottles because that's the most fun object that I have. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing a combination of a front and lateral raise, okay? So that's really, really simple. So you're gonna hold your objects or your weights and we're gonna go front, front, lateral. You can also do your frontal raises simultaneously and then do your lateral raises simultaneously. It really depends on the weight you have. Now super important, you want to make sure that when you're coming up that your shoulders are not rounded forward because yet again that really will not work the correct muscles, right? So we want to make sure that our shoulders are engaged, back and down slightly, and we come up with control. We come straight out lateral to the sides with control. So use an object or weight 
that allows you to really maintain good control of, of your um, of your objects or, or your weight, okay? It doesn't have to be heavy. Um, a lot of times this move is really challenging. Um, I'm using, I have eight pound dumbbells and this move is tough for me. I'm only gonna do 10 reps total. Uh, and it's, it's just a great, um, a great round, great workout round. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take you through, in this video, we're gonna do one full round together. And I'll post the timestamp of when the video, of when the workout starts in the video so you can replay it two more times because I'd like you to do this circuit three times total. So thanks for watching the intro and learning the proper form. Now let's go ahead and go through it for one round total together and you can do two more rounds on your own, all right? Awesome. So let's get started. Our very first move is the three-way push-up. So let's come down to our mat and take whatever variation that you like from the beginning. We're going to start with a regular push-up. Core is engaged and I'm going to try to do eight of all three. You can do eight to ten, you can do six to ten. Um, I'm going to do eight. So regular, wide, and I'm going to bring my hands in, press it back, pike push-up. Float it forward, regular push-up, hands out wide, wide push-up, hands in, press it back, pike push-up. Great job, that's two total. Let's go for three. Regular, keep that back nice and flat. Don't let it arch. That's three. Come on, let's do four. You can do this. Work that chest, work those triceps. Work those shoulders. Oh, that's four. Come on, here we go, five. Five. Five, good job. Round six. Keep breathing. Last two total, come on. These are hard for me too. Press it back. Hike. Last one, last set. Wide. Last fight. Great job. Woo! Ooh, strong arms. <laughs> All right, let's do our tricep dips. So if you're gonna do them with the box from an elevated position, set that up. If you're gonna use a weight and do them standing, get set up also. I'm gonna do them with the box. I'm gonna keep my knees bent to 90 degrees because that's super comfortable for me. I'm gonna make sure that my chest is open, shoulders are back, and you drop. 10, nine, no rushing here. Eight, seven, six, five, good, four, last three, two, oh, last one, keep those elbows parallel. Oh. Oh, those give me such a good burn. Whew. All right, let's do our reverse flies. So grab your weights or a weighted object, and we're gonna do our reverse flies. So I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. I'm gonna hinge forward to a 45 degree angle with my body. Soft bend in my knees, belly buttons hugging in and up. I'm gonna engage my shoulders slightly. Pinkies turn out slightly here, and begin. One, two. Gaze is neutral, three, four. Try not to lift down, five, or up, six. You got this. Really initiate this movement from between your shoulder blades. Seven, eight, nine, 10. We're gonna do two more, come on. 11, last one, 12. Whew. Let's set our weights down. All right, next move, bicep curls. So shake it off from that reverse fly. And for my bicep curls, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch to my squash and pumpkin so I can imagine pumpkin pie while I'm doing my bicep curls. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four. Keeping my shoulders back here, five, Four engaged, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Fantastic. And if you're going a little slower than me because you were holding heavier weights, that's awesome. Be where you're at, do your personal best. Awesome work. All right, let's drop it down onto our mat and do our back extensions with our little trap activators. I love that variation. So let's come down onto our mat, lay onto our belly. Great, let's point our toes. Now when you're lifting your legs up, the farther apart your feet are, the little bit easier it will be on your back. The closer they are together, the more challenging it is. So use any variation that challenges you, okay? So let's straighten out our arms. Let's get our feet ready and we're gonna lift and squeeze in. Lift, squeeze in. Lift, three, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We're gonna do 15, you got this, three more, three, Two, last one on the last one. We're gonna pull it up, pull, five, four, you got this. Three, two, one, little pulses. Come on, squeeze it in. You got this, make it count. Three, two, one. Woo, lower down, good job. All right, let's do our front and lateral raises. And uh, I'm going to use my water bottles this time for this move. Use anything that you're using, weights, weighted object, okay? I'm just gonna spin them. Yeah, they really feel really good this way for me. So, remember, we're gonna go front, lateral, or you can go front, front, lateral. Good. Three, three, four, four. I'm gonna vary it for you, okay? Five, five, six, keep that core engaged, six, good, seven, perfect, keep those shoulders back, eight, eight, nine, nine, last one, ten, and 10. Woohoo! Put your weighted objects down. Quick control. Great job. Now I want you to roll through this entire circuit two more times. Like I said, I'll put the timestamp of when the workout starts so that you can just jump right back to that part of the video. I'm Betty Rocker. You are so awesome. I'll see you back here again for our next workout. Be sure to check out the programs page on thebettyrocker.com for all of my workouts you can do at home, in the gym, and also my awesome meal plans as well. Have an amazing day and I'll see you real soon. Bye.